Okay. The coast is finally clear. I'm finally ready to do my most devilous scheme I ever did on this show. And Red, I'm totally going to get revenge on you once I come back to the show. Oh man, you're going to pay the prices so much. Ha 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 ha. Say goodbye to your stupid crap friend Lighty. Your crab is going to die today. Alright players, it's time for another amazing challenge. Today's challenge is going to be... Help. Help. This is very urgent. Lightbulb, what's going on? Baxter. My poor precious crab Baxter. He's gone. Someone stole him. I don't know what happened to him. I saw him this morning when I was talking to Cecilia, but now he has vanished. I don't know what happened. All right, guys. This is an emergency. Change of plans. Your next challenge is to find where Lightbulb's crab is. The team that finds the crab will win the challenge. All right, players. Go, 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 go. Go find that crab. Hold on. Where's Wrenchy? He wasn't up breakfast, nor with us during this meeting. I wonder what's going on with him. Perfect. One crap wagon coming up for the metal steel tool. Woohoo. I'm so sick and tired of going to stupid seafood restaurants, only to cost a lot to spend of my cash. So I'm doing my next favorite thing. In about 20 minutes, I'm going to drop that crap into my boiling pot. Oh god, I could smell a great crap wagon right now. I knew it. He stole the crab from Luddy. Oh man, Wrenchy is one mischievous individual. Why did we trust this guy to be on our team anyway? He's just nothing but trouble. I can't believe he's doing all these evil acts, just to make others suffer. Oh my god. I smell fire. We need to go to the cookout corner on the elimination campus. Come on, before Wrenchy cooks like Bulb's crab. Oh my gosh. I smell it too. Come on. We need to go to the elimination campus. We are running out of time. For some reason, the campus isn't really used for cooking. Some people believe that, but it's actually for bonfires. The real cafeteria is near the elimination area, which is really interesting. I can't believe that we have to go to that stupid bonfire area again. It always ruins my beautiful dresses, which is so terrible. Perfect. One step closer to one beautiful crap raccoon. Oh my gosh, I can smell it already. Aha. Uh -huh. We got you now, you stupid criminal. Are you kidding me, Renty? Why would you steal light bulb, stupid crab? How are you so crazy about killing things with weapons, or even torture? Well, blame me all you want, you stupid father figure. I like killing things because I love to hurt people. I love to steal things, because I love to be rich and show embarrassment in front of the actual person who I stole the item from. I've never been caught in my life you stupid numbskulls, and I will never be caught ever. I'm going to be rich, and I'm going to make the people in this town my slaves. Ha 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 ha. Perfect. One more step, and you will become a wonderful seafood product. Crap Raggon, here I come. Ha 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 ha. Oh no. I think we're done for guys. It's game over everyone, it's game over. Hold on. What the actual heck am I seeing now? What's going on over here? Wrenchy. Care to explain yourself right now? Oh, uh, no, Wally. I'm a pretty nice guy. I would never hurt a crap oh, like that one. How the heck did it get here? That's a total lie dude. Why the heck did I ever choose you to compete on season 6 anyway? You're a total monster dude. I mean, I've been seeing complaints ever since episode 3. You stole the gold, and replaced the inside of the chest with lumpy potatoes. You almost burned the other team's kitchen. You chopped down one of my trees. You stole one of my lists for one of the challenges, and now this? Well Wrenchy, I think, I had enough of you. Because of your recent behavior, I cannot have you stay any longer in the show, so, this means, I am 100% disqualifying you from Waldwick elimination. And, you will be banned from any future season. You will not compete in season 7 or 10, since they are the only seasons with returning players. I had too much, and I'm finally ready to send you off the show. What? You can't do that Wally. 
We didn't even have an elimination for myself. You're making a bad mistake dude, and I am very angry at you right now. Well, I can actually do that. I was finally able to locate all the stuff that you did on the security cameras in the storage room. And yes, I can do that. In my show's rules, there a small rule that says, if a troublemaking contestant goes too far with their own actions, they will suffer a disqualification. Not only that, but you will also be getting a special way to boot yourself out. It's not going to be to you, but it's going to be funny for everyone. Well, let's hope that exit isn't like that stupid sports star, or even like that stupid athlete of yours who does the cold cuts. Oh, you will like a dude. It's really, really, awesome. Meet me outside the Waldwick Elimination Campus, Wrenchy, you will totally like it. Am I really dreaming, or is Wrenchy finally going to be booted off? Yes. This is going to be so awesome. All right, Wrenchy, it's time for you to finally to meet an old friend of mine. Who is it? I hope it's that stupid Jersey Avenue, because he's my favorite. Okay. Here goes nothing. Security Widefield. Get over here right now. We have a big troublemaker for you to arrest. Wait. Who? Huh? You are under arrest for violating the laws of Waldwick elimination, cheating through challenges, theft, messing around with nature, and many other minor crimes you did back in Victopolis. That's it, we are taking you to ADX Florence. Wait, what? ADX Florence? That's where main troublemakers go. Tell that to the judge Mr. Steelbar. Thanks for showing up on the show, just to make people remember NJT Elimination Security Widefield. Anytime Waldwick. Next time you have a troublemaker like this, I can arrest them, and send them to ADX Florence. Goodbye. This isn't the last time you'll see me, Wally. I'll come back much stronger than before. You'll see.